As you know, gun channels are under attack by YouTube. Content creators receiving community strikes just for simply showing the safe operation of a firearm. And we can no longer show the safe operation of a firearm, you can no longer do gun reviews. So moving forward, any gun reviews that we do in the future will be on Patreon only. You can join our Patreon for as little as a dollar. Want to take a moment and thank those of you who are supporting this channel because there is value in this content. And we cannot risk losing a voice for God just simply so we can show you a new gun. So moving forward, it's on Patreon. That link is below. When it comes to gun bans, it's very important that we fully understand what it is they're actually trying to ban. Now we'll start with, they're always trying to take more. So in the end, they're trying to ban everything. But what we want to look at is specifically the more recent House bill uh, for the 2022 assault weapons ban is what they're calling it. Now. Uh, this obviously is not going to go through, but it gives us a glimpse into what it is they're after. Um, well, at least I don't believe it's going to go through. Uh, you never know, <laughs> but I don't believe it is going to go through. But it's important if we look at what the White House publishes that they're after, because you got to take them for their word. Uh, they're after more. You always got to assume it's more, but at least what they write. They're after at least what they're writing, and then let's look at what's written within this bill. Well, let's start by, they're trying to ban the importation and production of anything that has a magazine and is semi-automatic. Uh, they want to ban anything like that, and a pistol grip. As long as it has those three things, they're going to ban any of that. And anything to a maximum of 10 rounds with a fixed magazine. So, for example, like an SKS with the original fixed 10-round magazine is fine, but it has to be fixed. And if you have anything that doesn't, if you have anything that's magazine fed, has a pistol grip and is semi-automatic, you are to sell it to the government or register it under the new gun registry is the plan. Now, uh, it's easier for the government to give you a list of what specific guns they will allow than it is to tell them what you're gonna ban because they're trying to ban so much. So I'm gonna put a link below straight to that house bill that's gonna, at the very bottom of that bill, it's gonna give you a list of all the guns that will be acceptable um, under that. Now we're talking about long guns. Now. The general idea is it's a very short list of auto-loading centerfire rifles. And these include things like the Remington 742 Woodmaster, which does have um, a magazine that comes out, but it's, it's like a three or four round magazine, so again, it has to be less than 10, or an SKS with a fixed 10 round, those kind of things, but it's a pretty long list. It's just uh, some mostly Benelli's, things like, you know, hunting, semi-automatic hunting rifles is really what they're looking after. Uh, then there's a short list of centerfire lever rifles, a short list of centerfire bolt rifles, a short list of centerfire single shot rifles that you can use, um, and then it, that's it. That's a SAR centerfire. That is it. Those will be the only rifles, centerfire rifles, you will be allowed to own in the United States is that short list. Period. Anything else that's not on that list, sell it to the government or register it. All right, next is rimfire. You got rimfire auto loaders. Surprisingly, the Ruger 1022 is on that list, but with that little rotary magazine. Then there's rimfire lever rifles. Then there's competition rifles, centerfire and rimfire, but these are all. You know, these are competition rifles, and it's a specific list, model numbers and everything. All right, then we get into shotguns. That's it. That's it. Those are the only rimfire rifles you will be allowed to own in the USA that are on that list. All right, next, uh, shotguns. So you got auto-loading shotguns, no magazines. These are, you know, no detachable magazines, I mean. So these are like uh, Benelli's, um, you know, Mossberg's, things like that that are semi-automatic, tube-fed, but not magazine-fed. All right, then we get into... Pump shotguns is a pretty good list of those. 
over and under and side by side shotguns and then finally you have bolt and single shot shotguns that's it that's it that is all you will be allowed to own as far as long guns you'll have literally just a couple hundred guns to choose from um, and the rest will be banned uh, so again, I'm going to put that list below. It's very important to understand what it is they're trying to take and, and what they're trying to take is so much that it's easier for them to just list what they would allow you to have. Um, it is very important you call your representatives and let them know this is not okay. There's no part of this that is acceptable. Any thoughts or insight onto that, definitely put that below. And again, I'm going to put that link to that as well. Uh, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel through Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. Love guns.